who do you think is the greatest white rapper of all time? Um, I would exclude Eminem. Vlad was asked this by TMZ. They ran up on him and was like, who do you think is the greatest white rapper? And he said Eminem. Um, who do you think? The greatest white rapper besides Eminem, you're asking me? Um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of great ones, man. You know, I think Ill Bill is amazing. I think Vinnie Paz is amazing. I think Everlast is amazing. Um, I think Action Bronson now is really doing his thing. And especially, uh, he has, he, he ha he's a New York artist with the New York sound still. And, you know, he's very comfortable in his own skin. He's a funny dude. He has great videos. I like what Action's doing a lot. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, to me, Everlast was kind of early on, to me, like, the best. And, uh, you know, obviously Eminem is great. I'm glad you brought up uh, Everlast. Um, what are your thoughts on the diss track between Everlast and Eminem? I mean, that was a long time ago, man. It's crazy because I always get asked the, the Everlast Eminem beef question. I, it was like 11 years ago, you know, like I've had like issues with people five years ago or six years ago and now I'm like kick it with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, time goes by. I don't think it, it's funny because that was so, it's, it's crazy that 11 years later, it's still kind of like an epic mm -hmm. thing that everybody still talks about. Cause, but I think, you know, Eminem and Everlast are both at the height of, you know, uh, great white MCs. They're both at that top, the top of that list. So, you know, when they went at each other, it was, it was, it was big news. And that was obviously when Eminem was kind of at the peak of, of, of his popularity and, and, and his, uh, and his powers. So he's still, he's still great now, I think. But, uh. You know, I, people still want to talk about that after all these years. It's crazy. Um, Yellow Wolf, he, when he first came out, I remember people were, you know, throwing him to be like the next Eminem, you know, that type of level. Um, what are your thoughts on Yellow Wolf? You know, his uh, lyricism and his, his well, style. That's a, see, Eminem was so dope that uh, after, every white MC after him would kind of get competed. Yeah, it sounds like Eminem, the next Eminem, whatever, you know, like, I think anybody who came out after him has kind of had that shadow cast. That's a, that just goes to show you, like, how big of a shadow that dude cast. Like, with, I mean, he had incredible talent, but he also had great timing and things fell into place. And then he, when things fell into place for him, he worked his situation masterfully. You know, him and his team, I'm sure he has a team of, uh, people working with him to make that happen. But, you know, he really, I mean, hit a grand slam to say the least. Yes. Um, so, and then, you know, I'm sure, you know, Yellow Wolf get put in that, with that shadow because he's signed to Eminem's label. But I think Yellow Wolf is a dope artist in his own right. And, uh, and you know, he's carved out a dope career for himself, great career for himself, but, you know, Comparing anybody to the career that Eminem had, I mean, he has the biggest career in the history of hip hop music. There's, I mean, the only guys you can really put in that same discussion career-wise, like the scope, the only guy I think is Jay-Z, right? 